Epitot's basic structures and layouts will be based on Disney's original idea of utilizing the Wedway people movers and monorail systems in a centralized hub. However, for the radial plan, I've redesigned the wheel, so to speak. Disney's original design built Epcot on an old wagon-style wheel, with the spokes all running linearly from the hub to the rim on the city, never crossing nor interlacing with each other in any way. Eptot's layout is less like the radial wheel of a wagon or car, and more like that of a bicycle wheel, with tangential spokes constantly interlacing and meeting up with one another to better aid travelers in reaching more destinations faster. Each time two or more lines connect, a station is built to allow travelers to transfer between lines, meaning that people will not have to travel the entire length of one spoke to the hub to get to their destination. As for the actual transit systems themselves, both monorail and people mover will work off of the same track, with the wedway using the top part of the track and the monorail suspending itself from below. Between the two wedway tracks would be what I'm calling the Wedway Skyway, a special above-ground walkway allowing bicycles and pedestrians to travel the Wedway route under covered protection from both the weather and automobiles. The Skyway would also feature a moving walkway going in both directions, giving pedestrians yet another option in getting around Tampa Bay. The Wedway, being designed for more localized usage, would only operate within the wheel of the city. The faster and more efficient monorails would extend out from the wheel, collecting passengers from locations such as North Tampa, Plant City, Brandon and Riverview, Ruskin, Davis Island, South Tampa, and Pinellas County, as well as routes serving our serving men and women in uniform at McDill Air Force Base, and connecting travelers from three separate airports, Tampa Executive, Hedero Knight, and Tampa International. Also, should Disney choose to fund EPTOT and its interests, a monorail system could be connected near Interstate 4 to transfer both tourists and residents to the happiest place on Earth. Throughout Hillsborough County, monorail stations would be either constructed or integrated into already existing locations. Station architecture can be easily designed to match the surrounding environment. For example, the Sydney Monorail City Center Station, pictured here, is hidden inside a downtown shopping center. The monorail adaptability provides unlimited possibilities for station locations. Stations can be built into any architectural style to blend in with the area. Like the Sydney station, this picture is a proposed monorail station at University Mall, retrofitted into an available outlot currently going unused. The monorail could serve a multitude of locations from University Mall including University of South Florida, Bush Gardens, Adventure Island, the Museum of Science and Industry, as well as countless residential areas. Just this one example could provide a drastically beneficial change for Tampa, but as I said before, EPTOT never stops growing. After EPTOT is constructed in Tampa Bay, Neighboring cities could adapt and adopt their own EPTOTs to suit their own community's needs. Locations in the illustrated example include Pinellas Park, Clearwater, West Chase, Temple Terrace, Brandon, Riverview, and Sun City Center. As EPTOTs across Florida are developed, monorail lines could connect EPTOTs together, strengthening both the bonds of the railways and the communities that house them. The connecting monorails, however, would only be the start of a much greater inner-city system. From the Wedway hub, each city's monorail lines would overlap and intersect onto the monorail Webway, named for its resemblance to a spider's web. Much like the interlacing Wedway in the city, the Webway would provide stations at each intersection, allowing passengers greater versatility in getting to their destinations. But how is EPTOT the best choice for Tampa, and why should we choose it over just a simple light rail or rapid bus transit system? EPTOT is the best choice because it best satisfies the five E's of Tampa Bay. Efficiency, economy, ecology, employment, and enjoyment. <laughs>